Hello everybody, um, Thursday the 13th, uh, on site this morning we've got the firewood people and these finishing off with the palms, cutting the palms. Now they want those ones at the top also. So they're taking them away and then the tree fellas coming back in and he'll take the stump out and he'll take this dead stump out as well. No climbing gear here, you know, just bare feet and up they go. <laughs> but this morning, uh, I've been soaking that big log in diesel yesterday a couple of times. So we're going to have a look at that and, uh, and Winnie who, who was working for us, um, have a word with him and see if he thinks it's safe to light it and what the best way to go forward with it. So hopefully I'm going to light that this morning and it's going to smoulder away over the next few days and be gone. And then four or five more to do. Right, but the moment of truth. We've started the fire, so we'll see how we go. Can't stop it. Two minutes time, we won't be able to stop it at all. So cross your fingers. <laughs> Well, that didn't really go according to plan. We soaked the tree stump a couple of times in diesel, three times, and I lit it this morning, and um, it didn't. Uh, it didn't get. It didn't catch light. It will do. I'll keep soaking it. Um, it, as it dries out a bit more so then we decided or at first I decided that I'd light a little fire <laughs> yeah. and the little fire when wind came down and seen what I was doing the little fire turned into a big fire so we've burnt an awful lot of bloody rubbish down here now with the result there's you can't see here but you can see the smoke rising in, in, at the back that's an old log which was rotten and that's smouldering away. That, that log's going to disappear. It's only a third of the length of these big ones. And then this log here, I think that's on fire at the far end, smouldering away. So I think we've got two alike now. The one where Wynn is sta standing on, that one and this one here, they're not alike. But uh, keep treating them with diesel. Give it two or three days to dry out a bit more, and then have another go with diesel. Um, we're going to get them. But um, I think they've got two, two on fire now, smouldering away. So, and this one here, this is quite a big one. This is uh, the one that was killed by the vines growing up it, the um, spirit house. Um, there's no spirit in there anymore. Well, that should burn all right. It depends what sort of spirit was in it, of course. 98% truth, it'll go like hell. But yeah, we, we've, uh, we've achieved something, not what we, uh, we expected today. And uh, but it's not got away from us, the fire. It's been under control most of the time. So we cleared a load of rubbish, which is good. The sand and gravel was supposed to clean today as well, but the, the truck carrying the sand, three and a half ton of sand, um, is broken down between halfway up the mountain he's got. So he's, he's waiting for parts. He's, wanting, he's desperate to get here today to get the weight off the truck. It's three and a half ton on the truck. But uh, I don't expect to see him today. But you know, you never know. Um, not that we're desperate for the sand either, I've ordered sand, I've ordered gravel, 
I'll make some moulds for concrete posts and panels next and we'll uh, hopefully get some moulds made and then make some panels and posts and see how we go with them but that's uh, over the next week, two weeks, maybe even three weeks so we're not panicking for the time